Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 super useful iPhone shortcuts that I believe every iPhone user must have on their device. Now shortcuts are really powerful. You can do a lot of stuff on your iPhone with shortcuts, do stuff much easier and much faster as well. Even though I believe shortcuts to be one of the most underrated features of iPhones because not a lot of people actually use them. Now these are 10 shortcuts that you will love and you will use probably most of them on daily basis. And we're starting with set alarms. Now set alarms allows to create multiple alarms with any time interval between them that you want. Most of us when setting alarms will have to set two or three or maybe even more alarms because we don't wanna miss one alarm. Now the way this works, simply run the shortcut, choose the time when you want the alarm to start. So 1332, and of course we have to choose the end time for the alarm as well. So let's just go ahead and go 1352. And now what we need to do is the number of interval minutes. So right there, you can choose the number of minutes between alarms. So let's set it five and click done. And now they will be created automatically. The job is down now. Let's go to clock here and you can see it has created all these alarms starting at 1332, ending at 1352 with five minute intervals between them. Really cool very very simple and very easy to create any alarm you want the next shortcut for the video is called view battery cycle now this one is very useful especially if you have an ipad and you want to view the battery health of your ipad because with ios you cannot do that you can do that now with this shortcut this will work also for iphones even though on iphones you will find the battery health on the battery settings you don't find there the battery cycle count you can find it with this shortcut so go to settings go under privacy and go right here to analytics and improvements and then go right here analytics data and make sure you find log aggregate so just scroll here and you will have to go to the last log aggregate. So let's just find that. So once you find log aggregated here, make sure you go to the last one right here. And then all you have to do is tap right there on that share button and then go ahead and run the shortcut from here. So view battery cycle right there. It will show you the battery health and the cycles of the battery. That's really, really important, especially if you maybe want to actually buy an iPhone, a used iPhone or stuff like that. You can go ahead and view the cycles right there. Of course, the less cycles it has, the newer the battery and of course, the better it will perform. The next shortcut for the video is called Shazam Save. Now with iOS, now we have music recognition integrated. You can run it from the control center, but you don't actually get details on the music that it finds. Maybe like links or stuff like that. You tap on it, it will just open it on the Apple Music. But now what you can do with Shazam Save is find any song and it will also save the details of the song automatically into the notes app alongside with link to spotify or apple music whichever service you choose while you set up the shortcut so let's just play a song here so now i just played that song and run the shortcut you can see right here it has actually found the music right there it has been recognized and you can see it says added to notes so this now has been saved to notes so let's just go quickly to the notes app and right there we have the note and of course we have the song now i did find the same song twice so it shows twice here so all the songs that we'll find all of them will be right here in one note. It won't actually create multiple notes. You will have a list here of all the songs that you have found using this feature of Shazam. Next up is a simple yet very useful shortcut called Shutdown. It allows you to quickly shut down your iPhone. You don't have to use the buttons or go dig through the settings app to find the shutdown menu. All you gotta do, simply go ahead, tap right there, and it will take you to the shutdown screen as easy as that. Go ahead, slide to power off your device. Next up is photo details. Now, a lot of people haven't yet updated to iOS 15. With iOS 15, you can view the photo details simply by swiping up or tapping the little I button on any photo on your photos library. But with iOS 14, you won't be able to do that. So you need this shortcut. Simply run the shortcut and select the photo. And once you have selected the photo, you can see right here, it will show 
all the details you need to know regarding that photo so if you have of course this is a wallpaper if you add a photo that you have taken with your iphone you will see a lot more details like the camera type of course the iso there will be the shutter speed everything will be there now of course you can also save this all the details copy them or save them into a note directly here from the share sheet next up is youtube picture in picture this actually allows you to run picture in picture from the youtube app but the trick is that you will need this shortcut but you will also need scriptable which is another app that you have to download for free from the app store and then the trick will work so let's play here a video all you have to do is tap the share button right there and of course tap on more once you have done that just go ahead and find here youtube picture in picture and this will automatically start playing that video in the picture in picture mode you can see here in a couple of seconds you have a video Video on the picture in picture mode outside of the YouTube app this is really really cool but of course again you will need that app called scriptable which I'll, of course I will leave linked right down below alongside with a link to this shortcut charging notification is up next this one allows you to get a notification at any percentage of charge your iPhone reaches. So all you have to do is just run the shortcut and of course choose the percentage right here. So we'll have some presets right here or you can just go ahead and pick your own number here, enter any number you want. And then of course, once your iPhone is charged at that percentage, when allowing notifications here, you will get a notification that will let you know that your iPhone has been charged at that certain percentage. Share Wi-Fi is the easiest way to share your Wi-Fi network with anyone. You don't have to give out passcodes to someone. Maybe you have a Wi-Fi in your business or stuff like that. You don't want to give out passcodes, but you still want to allow people to join your Wi-Fi network. All you have to do is while connected to that network, simply run the shortcut. And from here, you will get this QR code, which of course will let people straight up go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi network simply by scanning this QR code with their iPhone's camera. Now, of course, you can go ahead and tap the share sheet here and save this as a picture on your camera roll so you don't have to generate a QR code anytime you want to give out your Wi-Fi network to someone. The next shortcut for the video is called Set Audio Output. Now, this one allows you to quickly play any music that you're playing, maybe on your iPhone, to your other device. So you install the shortcut and what you need to do is go ahead, tap on the three dots right there and tap here and make sure you go ahead and choose one of your devices. So here I have my MacBook Pro. So while I'm playing music on my iPhone right here, so you can see it's playing right now, it's on the iPhone. If we go here, you will see that it is on the iPhone, but what I can do is simply run the shortcut here and it will just automatically start playing on my Mac. As easy as that, I can move the music right here from my iPhone to my Mac as easy as that simply with one tap. Last but not least is download Wikipedia article. It allows you to download a full article from Wikipedia and save it as a PDF file on your iPhone. Of course, super useful maybe for students or anyone that actually just needs to have an article saved. You can go ahead and simply visit Wikipedia, go to that article and then simply tap on the share sheet and go to download Wikipedia article here and you will get that downloaded in a matter of seconds right here and of course saved as a PDF file on your device. You can see right here click the done button and now we're good to go here's a pdf file 63 pages of this article have now been saved on the iphone so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and of course hopefully you enjoy the shortcuts and find them useful you will find all of these shortcuts linked right down below in the pinned comment if you want to download any of them again thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more leave a like on the video and i'll see you on the next one